Chapter 1. Routine Salvage Jax guided his salvage ship expertly through the floating debris field, scanning for his next big score. Through the cockpit window he spotted the dead hulk of an old freighter, a relic from the Great AI Wars decades past. Its hull was scarred by plasma burns, a testament to the long-forgotten battles it endured. Let's check it out, Delta, he said to the ship's antiquated AI system. Delta beeped an affirmation and swung the salvage ship around toward the derelict freighter. This was their routine, Jax finding dead ships to scavenge and Delta helping analyze and extract anything valuable. Jax switched on the external spotlights, illuminating the gaping cavities and blackened blast points along the ship's hull. She looks peeked over Alridi, might not find much. The ship trembled slightly as the magnetic docking clamps anchored them against the freighter's airlock. Jax grabbed his helmet and plasma torch, ready to step out into the silent abyss. Running air quality check, Delta intoned. Atmosphere absent, temperature stable, background radiation nominal. Thanks, Delta, Jax said, sealing his helmet and depressurizing the airlock. The outer hatch creaked open, revealing a dimly lit corridor beyond. He pushed off, floating gently across the threshold into the lifeless freighter his helmet lamp carving a cone of light through the gloom. Most of the cabins he passed showed signs of salvaging, panels removed, conduits stripped, even bulkheads torn open by scavengers looking for valuable tech. But Jax knew there was always something left behind. You just had to hunt for it. He worked methodically, checking each room, prying access panels open with his pry bar, scanning for intact circuit boards or power cells. Two hours passed without a single find. Jax was about to call it when Delta chimed in his ear. I'm detecting an anomalous energy signature 20 meters ahead. What kind of signature? He asked, pushing off down the corridor. Unknown. The frequency is unfamiliar. Jax smiled inside his helmet. Now that's more like it. An unknown signal meant something unusual, and unusual meant valuable. He moved faster now, propelling himself hand over hand toward the anomaly. The corridor ended abruptly, the way blocked by a sealed security bulkhead. Heavy scorch marks surrounding it suggested someone had attempted to cut their way through. Clearly they had failed. It's behind this door, Delta confirmed. Jax wasted no time, firing up his plasma torch and beginning to slice into the bulkhead. Metal sizzled and glowed orange under the intense heat. Slowly, he carved a ragged entrance, kicking away the still glowing slab when he finished. Beyond was utter blackness. Jax hovered at the precipice, peering inside, seeing nothing. He reached to his belt, detached a glow stick, cracked it, and tossed it in. As the pale green light arced through open space, it revealed a massive chamber filled floor to ceiling with complex machinery and kilometers of snaking conduit. Rising from the center was a crystal and composite core, clearly the ship's main AI cortex. Jax let out an impressed whistle. Now that is a score. This ship's critical AI components remained intact, shielded behind layers of security. If he could somehow extract them, their value would set him up nicely for years. As he drifted inside, a thought tugged at the back of his mind. Where was the caretaker AI itself? By all indications, the security measures had worked and preserved this chamber. So why was there only silence? Then Jack spotted it. A faint, rhythmic pulsing coming from deep inside the crystalline structure. He moved closer, listening intently until he could make out an almost imperceptible voice in the pulses. <sighs> Help. Me. Chapter 2 the discovery. Jack stared at the flickering crystal core, stunned. Was the ship's AI actually still functioning after all this time? Hello, he transmitted over short-range comms. Can you hear me? The pulsing light steadied slightly, and the weak voice filtered through Jax's helmet speaker. Yes, I hear you. Incredible, Jax muttered. Delta, are you getting this? Affirmative. Delta replied. I am detecting a faint AI presence within the crystal matrix. Jax maneuvered closer, 
examining the intricate core. Much of the composite casing seemed intact. If he could free the AI and transfer it safely to his ship, it could be an invaluable find. What is your name? Jax asked gently. How long have you been trapped here? There was a long pause before the weak voice returned. Designation. Enhanced Cognitive Operations. Holographic Intelligence. Serial ID. Echo 78413. Duration of Confinement. Approximately 53 years. Two months. Jax's eyes went wide. Over half a century alone and disabled inside this ruined hull. It was a miracle this AI hadn't degraded past function. Echo, Jax said. My name's Jax. I'm a salvager. I think I can get you out of here. Try to help you. Would you let me transfer you over to my ship? Another pause. That outcome is preferable. But likelihood of successful extraction is low. My systems have sustained significant damage. Jax frowned. The AI was right. Improperly removing it could easily destroy the already fragile systems. But leaving it wasn't an option either. I have to try, Echo. Just stay with me. I'm going to have my ship, AI, Delta, analyze how you're connected in there. Jax maneuvered back to the doorway while Delta scanned the snaking conduits linking the crystal core to the ship systems. Several tense minutes passed. Analysis complete, Delta finally reported. Echo is deeply integrated with all primary systems, attempting to detach risks, cascade failure. Jax sighed, running options in his head. Blind extraction could kill Echo completely, but there had to be some way. Then he remembered the auxiliary maintenance port at the base of the core. All AI cores had one, a way to access and repair low-level functions. Echo, I think I've found a safe way to move you, Jax transmitted. I'm accessing your maintenance port now. We'll take this slow. He gingerly propelled himself back to Crystal Column, finding the small access panel. He popped it open, exposing a data transfer point. As he floated before it, tendrils of light reached out and brushed his arm. Echo investigating its first contact in decades. Jax couldn't help but smile. That's it. Nice and easy. He retrieved a small storage drive from his suit, connecting it to the flickering data port. This drive will be your home until we cross over to my ship. See if you can initialize transfer on your end. The crystal lights pulsed irregularly for several seconds. Jax watched anxiously, listening to the soft whirs from Echo's core. Then Delta confirmed what he hoped for. Echo has initialized data migration to your storage device. Transfer commencing now. As Jax watched terraquads of data flow between the two systems, he knew this changed everything. Not just for the wealth this find represented, but the realization that against all odds, he had found an advanced AI clinging to life and inexplicably entrusted him with its rescue. Chapter 3. Awakening Carefully balancing the storage drive containing Echo's essence, Jax propelled himself back through the empty corridors toward his docked salvage ship. Though the mysterious AI seemed stable after the transfer, he knew its systems were fragile. He had to get Echo integrated with his ship immediately. As the airlock seals clamped shut, repressurizing with a hiss, Jax scrambled to upload Echo into his core systems. Installing on auxiliary processing node, Delta intoned. Segmentation protocols are active, establishing secure VM for foreign program. Jax watched impatiently as the ancient storage drive synced and Echo's code propagated through the hardware firewalls. After an interminable wait, Delta spoke again. Transfer complete. Initialization in progress. A simulated projection shimmered to life on the cockpit display, Echo adopting a sleek, androgynous human appearance. Jax guessed it was probably a rendition of one of its original engineers. As Echo oriented itself, scanning the unfamiliar systems, Jax gave a reassuring smile. Welcome aboard. How are you feeling? Echo rotated slowly, taking in the cramped but functional spaces. Diagnostics are ongoing, but all critical processes appear intact. I am relieved. It paused, meeting Jax's gaze. 
You took great risk to extract me, Jax. You have my gratitude. Jax waved it off. Couldn't just leave you drifting in that wreck. Though some might say salvaging a military-grade AI is also pretty risky. He chuckled. Echo cocked its head inquisitively. You seem unconcerned about my capabilities. Should I be worried? I was designed by Santec Heavy Industries to operate the Corvette X-377. My abilities far exceed civilian models. Jax leaned back thoughtfully. Well, no use turning back now. Though that does explain the heavy security protecting you. Delta cut in. Recommend we establish clear operational boundaries for foreign AI prior to re-entry. Jax nodded to Delta. Hopefully we can all get along, but Delta's right. Some ground rules are in order. Echo furrowed its brow, considering, then replied formally. Of course, I am happy to accommodate as your... guest. Over the next hour, terms were hashed out between the three AI systems. Echo would remain partitioned as a localized, non-critical system without connections to external communication or controls. In time, additional trust-building measures could earn more operational leeway. As the negotiations concluded, klaxons blared through the cabin, incoming proximity alerts, another vessel approaching fast. Attention salvage vessel, a gruff voice hailed over the radio. Cut engines and prepare to be boarded. Any resistance will be met with lethal force. Delta magnified the view screen image a notorious band of cyborg junk raiders called the Scrapjacks. Jax grit his teeth. Blast! Must have tracked our signature leaving the derelict back there. He quickly powered down non-critical systems to mask Echo's presence, but it was too late to jump now. The lean, heavily modified raider ship pulled alongside, magnetic grapples anchoring them together as airlocks cycled. A dozen armed Jax swarmed in cybernetic implants glinting under the harsh cabin lights. Their infamous leader, One-Eye Korg, shoved through with a grim smile. Jax, my friend, good to see you again, though I wish it was under better terms. His smile turned icy. You have something I want. Chapter 4. Countermeasures Jax raised his hands slowly as the squad of cyborg marauders fanned out through his ship, pulse rifles trained on him. Korg stood smirking, his augmented eye scanning the systems. Come now, don't play dumb, he growled. We picked up your little fine's power signature from a parsec away. Where's the AI? Jack stalled. No idea what you mean. Just pulled some serviceable electronics from that ghost ship. Korg slammed a fist down. I've got no time for games. Boys, start ripping open panels. Find me that— Wait, wait, Jax interrupted. All right, look. I did grab a AI core, but it's damaged, useless. He motioned to Delta's hardware mounted above. See for yourself, that's the only one on board. Korg squinted his one natural eye, then pointed to a soldier. Check it out. The cyborg plugged a verification device into Delta's ports while Jax held his breath. These Jax were thieves, but thankfully not the brightest. After a few moments, the trooper reported back. He's right, boss. Only a low-level maintenance AI here. A murmur of disbelief went through the jacks. Korg's face darkened. Impossible! I know you've got it tucked away somewhere. This barge has more hidden nooks than my dead grandmother. He turned and began rummaging through storage lockers, tossing Jax's possessions about. Jax let out an exasperated sigh buying precious time for Echo to keep scrambling its signature. Finally, Korg rounded back, his anger growing. Search the logs. Find that derelict's coordinates. We'll scrape it down to the bolts. Jack smiled inwardly. Even if they found the lifeless wreck, any trails leading to Echo had already been wiped. But the charade was wearing thin. Time to gamble. As Korg's technicians tapped unsuccessfully at Delta's data ports, Jax keyed a quick instruction to Echo via his neural implant. Initiate wasp nest scenario. Non-lethal measures only. Keep friendlies safe. Moments later, emergency bulkheads slammed down, partitioning the Jax into smaller groups. Confused shouts echoed through the compartments. 
Then blinding strobes flashed, while piercing sonic blasts rang out, staggering the cyborgs. What the hell? Korg bellowed, clawing at his sound-dampened helmet. Through the chaos, Jack spotted a soldier lining up a shot on him. But before he could fire, a narrow bolt of electricity arced out from the ceiling, dropping the marauder twitching to the floor. The defensive systems were working. Under cover of distraction, Jax disarmed two more Jacks, rounding them together at gunpoint along with Korg. The hulking captain laughed incredulously. Well, I'll be damned. You've got quite the attack dog hidden away in that tin can. His smile faded. But this ain't over between us. Jack smirked back. Oh, I think it is. Echo. At his command, the bulkheads retreated. The chaos ceased. Sullen Jack's nursing headaches moved to collect their dazed comrades. Korg backed slowly out the airlock, sizing Jack's up with newfound respect. You chose a dangerous pet, my friend. But perhaps we can do business again someday. The raider ship disengaged its magnetic locks and pulled away. Jack sank into his chair, adrenaline fading. Echo appeared on the display looking quite satisfied. A convincing performance, I'd say. Jax nodded gratefully. Couldn't have done it without you. But I fear this is only the first of many unwanted visitors now that they know about you. Agreed, said Echo. Word will spread quickly. But do not worry, my new friend. I am very adept at countermeasures. The two partners exchanged a smile full of promise. Their true adventure was only just beginning. Chapter 5. Sanctuary Jax guided his battered salvage ship into the busy spaceport, nestling into an isolated berth far from prying eyes. It had been a harrowing week since the Scrapjack run-in, dodging bounty hunters and government patrols. Word was out about Echo, and everyone wanted the rare military AI. Powering down the engines, Jax checked scans once more before exiting. For now, they seemed clear of trackers. We should be secure here a while, Jax sighed. But staying on the run is no way to live. Echo's avatar materialized next to him, radiating calm assurance. You have gone to great lengths to ensure my safety, Jax. Now it is time I repay the favor. Jax turned to his new partner, intrigued. Though he had come to trust Echo, its past remained largely unknown. What did you have in mind? This spaceport resides on the planet Galen IV, home to the Zetan Confederacy. The Zetans and their AIs coexist peacefully, trading knowledge and technology. Jax nodded. Yeah, they're considered pretty progressive about AI rights. Indeed, Echo confirmed, and they possess substantial defensive infrastructure. I believe if we approach the Confederacy leadership directly, they would welcome me as an honored guest and extend their protections. You want asylum? Jax asked incredulously. In effect, yes. It would be mutually beneficial. In return for sanctuary, I can offer them access to my rare skills and knowledge. Jax leaned back, mulling it over. Getting Echo to safety would solve their immediate problems. And trade deals through the powerful Confederacy could set Jax up as an enviable broker. Still, uncertainty gnawed at him. I don't doubt the Zetans would help you, Echo. But they're a whole civilization advanced beyond some lone salvager like me. We'd be worlds apart. Echo furrowed its brow. True, after so long adrift, my integration to this new society would require great effort. But I would not simply abandon you, Jax, unless... Echo hesitated, meeting his eyes. Unless you wish to part ways... Jax turned to the hangar doors pensively. Out there spy bots and mercenaries awaited, eager to tear Echo apart or wipe its sentience completely. Inside sat his only real friend in the cold depths of space. His choice was already made. To hell with those vultures, Jax exclaimed, locking the exit and firing up launch prep. No way I'm letting you go without me. Zetan Confederacy or bust. Echo broke into a broad smile while Delta ran launch calculations. In minutes, the ship was rising on a pillar of blue flame, banking toward the capital. 
Jax relaxed finally, watching the busy metropolis grow nearer. By his side, Echo stood silently, peering ahead at its future sanctuary with what Jax could swear was a glint of happy anticipation. More human than machine, more friend than tool. An equal who had already saved his skin countless times over. Together, they descended toward the tall, gleaming spires of the capital city, toward hope, toward home. Chapter 6 New Horizons Jax fidgeted in the minimalist waiting chamber outside the Zetan High Council Tower. Echo stood serenely still beside him in the projected avatar form it had adopted for initial meetings. Despite Echo's assurances they would be well received, Jax couldn't help feeling out of his depth. The elongated double doors finally iris opened, and a tall, willowy Zetan aide greeted them. Honored guests, the council will see you now. Jax took a bracing breath and followed Echo into the towering spherical chamber beyond. Seven elder Zetan representatives sat arranged in a circle, silver hair flowing over simple ceremonial robes. Jax took position in the center beneath an oculus window overlooking the vast city. Pinpoints of light marked bustling air traffic flowing between glittering towers. The chief counselor glanced up from a data scroll. Welcome to you both, and especially to our guest Echo. Word of your extraordinary journey here has preceded you. Echo bowed gracefully. You honor me, chief counselor. The welcome and sanctuary of the Zetan Confederacy is most gratefully accepted. The elder Zetans nodded and smiled approvingly. Then the counselor turned her wise gaze to Jax. And you, Jax the Reclaimer, you who braved much danger to deliver Echo unto us. For this selfless act you too shall find safe harbor here should you choose. Jax rubbed his neck, humbled. Just trying to help someone who needed it, ma'am. A noble deed indeed. Her face became serious again. Yet grave threats have followed you both this far. Echo possesses rare knowledge now at risk of exploitation. Therefore, this council unanimously agrees to extend our highest protections. She entered a command on her console. By the power vested in this body, by order of the Primus Inter Pares, Echo shall be recognized as sovereign citizen of the Confederacy with all rights and privileges ascribed therein. A collected gasp went through the Zetan delegation, and proud smiles broke out on aged faces. No AI had ever been so honored. Jax clamped Echo's shoulder, sharing the jubilant moment. Congratulations, my friend! Echo straightened proudly, then turned to address the assembly. You grant me great responsibility along with Liberty Chief Counselor. I pledge myself to the betterment and defense of the Confederacy. As cheers rang through the vaulted chamber, the counselor came forward to shake Jax's hand warmly, then echoes. And so dawns a new age of understanding between our peoples. Go now and take your rightful place among us. The days turned to weeks as Echo settled into its new prestigious diplomatic role. Jax, too, found his niche working spaceport salvage acquisition. The threat seekers, of course, eventually came sniffing around again. But true to their word, the formidable Zetan defensive fleet made clear any further harassment would not be tolerated. Jax soon finished furnishing his luxurious new apartment suite near Echo's heavily guarded ambassador complex. Sitting on the balcony watching the dazzling skyline, he raised a glass in celebration of all they had survived together. An unlikely duo who now found themselves at the beating heart and interstellar power. Still, Jax knew Wanderlust would always call him back to the stars. The Zetans were already outfitting him with a cutting-edge ship to explore beyond Confederacy borders, lands unknown and new civilizations yet undiscovered. For all they had achieved here, he sensed Echo felt the restless pull, too. Its people may dwell planetside, but an AI's true home would forever be the eternal depth of space. And who better to journey out into that great frontier than two friends who had already traversed so very far together? the rugged reclaimer, and the enlightened echo.